Hi guys, this is Lisa from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, we'll discuss the differences between struts and shocks. And which is better? But first, let's look at the differences. So, the main difference between these struts and shocks is their functionality. Shocks only control the movements of the springs and suspension by changing kinetic energy when the vehicle encounters uneven surfaces into heat energy that the hydraulic fluid disperses, similar to oil pumps. Think of a time when you were driving over a rough road but didn't feel much of the impact on your comfort in the car. That is what shocks are meant to do. On the other hand, struts can perform damping functions like shocks, but they also give the suspension additional structural support, align the tires, and support the springs. If they are in excellent condition, you will rarely hear or feel your steering wheel making strange vibrations or hear weird clunking noises in your car as you drive. The second difference is their design. Shocks are mechanical devices that will reduce and scatter kinetic energy and work with ancillary suspension parts to reduce the force of hitting or driving on uneven surfaces. You'll find them in vehicles that have solid axes as well as those that have lower and upper control arms. Think of it this way. If you look behind your car tires and see parts that look like pump mechanisms or springs in an upright position, those are shocks. Struts are designed to combine the functions of springs and shocks in one unit, which makes them more compact in appearance and more suited to vehicles using a compressed suspension system, as well as those without upper control arms. They are attached to the wheels and they tend to be harder to spot because of their smaller size. If you look at your suspension system and see horizontally positioned parts that look like an extension of your wheels, these are struts. Keep in mind that your car's suspension system will either have shocks or struts. If it has both systems, as some cars do, it'll likely have struts in the front wheels and shocks in the rear wheels. If you're unsure of which suspension components you have, your owner's manual will have all the answers as well as the recommended replacement mileage. The third difference is the systems they are a part of. Shocks are primary components of your car's suspension system, which assists the vehicle in force dissipation from uneven surfaces. Contrary to what you may assume, this does not mean shocks can support your car's weight. Instead, they only control the spring movements to make your ride more comfortable. Think of it as cruising along a rough road in your car, retaining stability and easily braking when you need to. On the other hand, struts are major parts of the suspension and chassis system, which means they can perform the function of shocks and also support your car's weight by aligning the tires correctly. This makes them more heavy duty in their functions, and they elevate your comfort by reducing bounce in your riding experience. But are there any similarities between struts and shocks? Both struts and shocks are major components of vehicle suspension systems. They both work alongside the suspension springs and help the car to keep its transition smooth even on uneven surfaces. And they're both velocity sensitive. The suspension affects their resistance. To sum up, which is better, struts or shocks? Both components are essential to the smooth operation of a vehicle, so the better choice depends on the vehicle type and purpose. If you want a suspension mechanism that's easy to replace and more suited to off-road driving, shocks are the best for you, while struts work best if you want a compact and affordable suspension system. Thanks for watching.